Today I'm joined by Jayan Jivratnam, who's the Chief Growth Officer for Avenard here in Australia. Jayan, welcome. Thank you, Suzanne. Jayan, tell us something about your business here. Sure. So it's Avenard, and uh, it's a business, business consulting uh, organisation. It was founded in two, year 2000 by Accenture and Microsoft. Uh, it has about 23,000 people around the world in about 20 countries. And uh, you know, we're really about realising results for our clients uh, using business technology uh, and enabling solutions via the digital uh, framework and, and cloud and managed services. But we work purely in the Microsoft platform space and nothing else. So it's kind of a niche consulting company in the Microsoft space. Jayan, as an AAA board member, you understand the process we've undertaken to develop our various policies in the recent period, and in particular, the importance that we have thrown on digital as a force for change in our economy and a force for creating a prosperous Australia. How do you respond to that policy from your position? Sure. Um, well, you know, I think digital is absolutely critical, I think especially for Australia, uh, when we have challenges such as productivity and um, you know uh, cost of labour and so on, I think you know digitising. There's no question about that. Um, ha, ha, and if I compare it to around the world, I would say that Australia is probably quite a, quite a way ahead compared to some of the Asia Pacific countries in large organisation and you know, looking at their processes and digitising that. Uh, in a specific to Australia. Uh, you know, we can go and have the conversation with government, we can go and have conversation with corporate. At the end of the day, we just got to start and get, get cracking and executing on it. So the way we go about it is with our clients. You know, I, I think, for example, um, we have helped uh, AGL, the largest utility uh, in Australia, digitise their front end for their customers. So um, you know, if I break down digital into two, two, you know, two uh, components, one is digital customer and digital workplace, you know, digital customers really us helping our clients help their customers. So in that sense, AGL, where we actually help them build their online system. You know, the biggest issue in Australia is electricity cost and energy cost, and you know that's what everyone complains about. But what we enabled AGL to do is give their client customers the opportunity to have some control on their spend, have some visibility on what their neighbours are spending uh, if they're with AGL and have a mechanism to change. You know, that really gives it in the client's hands and makes it powerful. And do you think the same principles could be applied by government in the way that they deliver services? Absolutely, I mean, I think you know, they have exactly the same thing. They have their customers and who they need to service. It, it could be uh, in the health side or it could be you know, Centrelink related or human services related and they need to you know, make it much more self-sufficient. I think recently there was a uh, program on Four Corners on Monday uh, all about this, and I think uh, you know, it's amazing how much wastage there is. If our government organisation can enable their clients, it's going to you know, drive much greater productivity and much greater savings. And similarly, if they go into one of the agencies and you know, help them digitise their processes and help them in their journey, it's going to drive greater uh, cost savings for the government as well. Jayan, thank you for your insights uh, to your business, uh, to a particular client experience and to the opportunities for government to apply the same principles to, to their business, delivering citizen-centric services to us all. Thank you for your time. Thanks, Suzanne.